The Children's Home has been here since 1908, and it was originally formed as an orphanage, as many institutions were at that time. But over the years, things have changed a lot, and we now have to look at the changing needs of our residents. Uh, for those children who have been removed, and most of our children are here because somebody hurt them. They're not here because they're bad. They're here because someplace along the line, an adult was unable to take care of them. So our hope is to be able to provide a certain level of intense care that will help these kids rehabilitate and either get back home or get into the community in some type of a permanent level. So in, in that sense, we serve approximately 70 to 80 children at a time. We provide them intensive services and hopefully can rehabilitate them and put them back into the community. So hopefully that's what we, we do here. The Children's Home is very successful. I have worked in many different group homes in several different states. And there are two things that set Florida United Methodist Children's Home apart. Number one is that we are mission driven. And everyone who is here is here for a mission. So we're all here to do the same thing. We're all unified. We're, we're people who know why we're here and we know what we're doing. But the second very important thing is that we are a trauma-informed agency. And what that means is that everybody who works here, from the guy who cuts the grass to the CEO, knows that if a kid is out there breaking a window or screaming or crying, it's not because they're bad. It's because somebody hurt them and they're reacting to that.